Last week, while most of us were eating ice cream, screaming at our significant others, and hating our desk jobs, a huge asteroid described as a city killer flew past the Earth at a very, very close distance. If this asteroid ended up hitting Earth, it would have ignited an explosion more powerful than the biggest nuclear bomb on the planet. Welcome back to another episode of Asteroid Review. I mean inform overload. Today on Asteroid Review, we are going to look at an asteroid that was the closest to causing Armageddon on Earth in the history of Asteroid Review. Excited? Me too. By the way, I'm Charlotte. Normally on this channel, we tell you guys about the best, most interesting news stories we find on the internet, and then we make them more entertaining. And yes, asteroids are entertaining. I bet there's one flying by my head right now that you just love to look at. See? Ah. Subscribe if that's your jam and follow us on the gram. Okie dokie, it is time for YouTube's second favorite show, Asteroid Review. Today we are looking at an asteroid called 2019 OK. Yes, that is its actual name, which is funny because if it hit us, we most definitely would not be OK. 2019 OK is estimated to have been 57 to 130 meters wide or 187 to 427 feet wide, according to NASA. And 2019 OK was traveling at nearly 54,000 miles per hour. It flew by Earth at a distance of 73,000 kilometers or 45,000 miles. And in case you're wondering, that is less than a fifth of the distance between the Earth and the moon. And 2019 OK is also the biggest asteroid to fly by Earth at that close of a distance in a number of years. If this asteroid happened to hit land, it could have wiped a huge city like LA off the face of the Earth. If it hit the ocean, it would have triggered huge apocalyptic tsunamis. I honestly don't know which is worse. Like I feel like killing 20 million people in a city is bad. But then if it hit the ocean, then it would hit all the coastlines and every city on the coastline would be completely submerged and yeah, I feel like ocean is worse. <laughs> The scary thing about 2019 OK, other than it being big enough to cause an explosion that would wipe out an entire city, is that it totally snuck up on us. As in, astronomers didn't know it was coming. You had one job, NASA. Look at the sky, tell us if an asteroid is coming, and then tell us to get to the bunker. Scientists were tracking an asteroid last month, but 2019 OK appeared out of nowhere. Its orbit was only noticed a few hours before it flew by Earth because it approached the Earth from the sun side and it was only visible at twilight. Lead scientists at the Royal Institution of Australia told the Washington Post that scientists call these asteroids city killers. What a lovely name. He said, it should worry all of us, quite frankly. It's not a Hollywood movie, it is a clear and present danger. Duffy told the Washington Post that he was confused because this past Thursday his phone was blowing up with calls from reporters wanting to know about a large asteroid that flew past Earth. And he didn't understand why everybody was so alarmed because he didn't know about the asteroid. <laughs> it was too small and it was traveling too fast to be noticed. And as soon as it came close, it was already too late. That's scary. While asteroid 2019 OK is big, it's not big enough to cause an extinction event like the one that killed off the dinosaurs. Those big asteroids have been identified and 90% of them are being tracked by NASA. But just because it's not big enough to wipe out most of the life on Earth, that doesn't mean it's not big enough to cause some serious damage, okay? And its size makes it difficult to identify and track. Duffy also talked about how important it is for us all to be staying on watch for these asteroids, saying, sooner or later there will be one with our name on it. It's just a matter of when, not if. We don't have to go to the way of the dinosaurs, we actually have the technology to find and deflect certainly these smaller asteroids if we commit to it now. Let's get on it. Huh? I reached this asteroid five llamas. Tell me your thoughts on this one down in the comments and while you do that, I'm gonna respond to some comments from our video. Actually, I didn't write down what video it was, so just... Wild card! Okay, all right, it's comment time. For comments, I'm gonna invite Jared because he's sitting on the couch waiting to film and I took too long because I made too many mistakes. Everybody, Jared! I wasn't, I wasn't planning on coming in, but hey guys. Hey, hey, hey. What's poppin', you know? Drinking water, gotta stay hydrated, your skin looks good. What do you what do you rate this asteroid? Um I'll be honest, I wasn't listening to this on my phone, but <laughs> <laughs> I think it's good. No, it's bad. Asteroids are bad, it's bad. Right? Right. Rosied. Rosied? Rosied. 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 Rosied? Charlotte voice warmed my heart. <laughs> Fish Nim wrote, let's store my own subscribe button. It can, it, it, it can it count, can us, count all. us all. Guys, I'm tired, it's early. It's like what, it's like 10.50, wow. I shouldn't be tired now. It can count us all. You're right, it can. So subscribe. So this is a subscribe. Rajwal Chopra said, I swear if I wasn't watching IO, I would have no clue what is going on in the world. If I didn't work in the same studio as IO, I wouldn't either. True. I was gonna say if I didn't work for IO, but that was many moons ago. You don't work for IO. I fired you. Every now and then I do. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Okay, if you like this video, <laughs> click this playlist to keep watching and leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. I'll see you in a future IO video.